So it's your boy Edward from Boxing Fanatic on. We're gonna go ahead and talk about what happened throughout this week. Some very, very sad moments also happened in the world of boxing uh, this past week that I'm gonna touch on, but we're also gonna touch on new revelations when it came to the WBA sanctioning and also the Manny Pacquiao and Jesse Vargas fight. So stay tuned, because this is last week's breakdown. So before I get into any of the boxing information, one thing I do want to touch on is Oville McKenzie. Uh, he can no longer pursue the sport of boxing um, and it was very, very touching. His Twitter did come out and in the Twitter, it was really sad, but you really wanted to root for him. You really do want to root for him and you want to make sure that he gets a speedy recovery. So hopefully, Oville McKenzie, you get a speedy recovery because we're all boxing fans are all rooting for you. If you don't know, he was supposed to fight Marco Huck and that fight was canceled because he was getting a lot of dizzy spells. He went to the hospital, he was diagnosed with a heart condition that will prevent him from competing in boxing for the remainder of his life. So he had to retire from the sport of boxing. And he put, he put a Twitter out about it. I'm gonna try to do this as closely related to the Twitter that he, he did, but you could go to his Twitter, Oville McKenzie, and, and see what he wrote exactly. But he did say something to this effect. I wanna go ahead and thank my fans for their love and support. Um, it is with a, a heavy heart that I would not be able to compete and pursue uh, my dreams of becoming a world champion. Thank you. Uh, and this is due to a heart condition. So. We do thank you for giving us the entertainment that you provided. We're hoping for a speedy recovery for you. One thing that a lot of people are not mentioning, Chocolate Tito's trainer also suffered a stroke. Uh, so he has a health condition going on right now and we're hoping for his speedy recovery as well. Now let's move on to this more sport related information. Uh, when it comes to the WBA sanctioning fights, so the WBA decided that they want to go on a sanction spree now. The only problem is their timing is impeccable. Thanks, WBA. They finally decide, hey, let's go ahead and sanction that Vladimir Klitschko and Anthony Joshua fight. But it's too late for 2016. They waited too long. So now that fight is going to happen in 2017, early spring. So that's when it's sanctioned for is an early spring fight. Anthony Joshua is going to fight Eric Molina instead. And Deontay Wilder has some words of caution for Anthony Joshua. And in those words of caution, he states, don't take Eric Molina lightly. And that should be the word of caution to any fighter. Never go so ahead of yourself that you go ahead and forget about the guy that's in front of you. Always maintain that focus so that you can get past them so you can finally focus uh, on the next guy. Bob Arum also came out on the news for something I find very, very strange. He's calling out Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya because they had a really bad year, which is arguably true they did have a bad year he is quoted as saying they had a bad year because they didn't make ggg canelo like they need to do this for the fans what's going on really bob really you of all people we wanted gamboa versus lopez and what happened we never got that fight Matty pacquiao floyd mayweather how long did that fight take it took like five years what do you, what do you, what, you're the last person to talk about we don't got GGG versus Canelo. Man, get out of here with that. WBA also decided to sanction Shannon Briggs finally. Let's go champ. Let's go champ. Let's go champ. I guess he did that enough times that WBA was like, okay, let's, let's go champ. Sanction. You, you, you can go and fight. You and Brown. WBA, let's go. So I guess... Scream, let's go champ enough times for enough years, WBA will sanction you. That's how it works. You didn't know that? You don't have to be ranked, you didn't know? No, you just, that's what you gotta do. Just go champ, let's go. Another interesting thing is Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz calling out Bam Bam Rios. And it was like a little Twitter back and forth video responses that were happening. And it looks like they're, they're trying to lobby each other to, to fight. I wouldn't mind. It's not a sport changing kind of fight. It's just a eh, interesting kind of. But let's go ahead and talk about the Pacquiao Vargas fight. 
The Pacquiao Vargas fight was pretty good. It was actually really good. It was better than I expected and more competitive than I expected. I thought Manny Pacquiao was going to just run through Jesse Vargas, but Jesse Vargas had got some hits in there, put some pressure on. It was like uh, in, in the fourth round, he actually hit Manny Pacquiao with, sorry, hit through the left. He actually hit Manny Pacquiao with a good straight right, popped his head back. The crowd even was oohing and eyeing. It was getting interesting at that fourth round, but then Manny Pacquiao stabilized everything, kind of figured him out, and then just started just putting on the pressure, putting on the pressure. Uh, I felt like he was going to the ground a lot, especially during the later rounds and uh, they were just calling it a slip, but I think he was abusing that a little bit, and I don't believe that he should have uh, been allowed to do that. He kind of did it twice, and I thought it was like overkill, but it, it's whatever Manny Pacquiao won. That one scorecard that was like 115, 114, or 115, 113, that was a horrible scorecard because I honestly only gave Jesse Vargas maybe three rounds, the most four if you want to stretch as much as you can to give him something, but not one, not no 115, 113, 115, 114 kind of scorecard. No way. And of course, in the post fight, they asked Manny about Mayweather. It's inevitable. It happens every single time. Mayweather fights, they ask him about Manny. Every single time Manny fights, they ask him about Mayweather. And it's, you know, it's whatever. They fought already. Like, let's just move on. But I guess no one wants to move on from that. And interestingly enough, Mayweather was actually at the fight. Mayweather always tends to go to the fights of people that he wants to actually fight. So this had a lot of, it stirred a lot of conversation like, what's going on? Is he planning to do a Mayweather uh, Manny Pacquiao too? But of course, Manny gave them the same PR answer that he always gives when these things happen and that most boxers give is that I'm gonna, I'm just a fighter, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna talk to Bob Aaron, Bob Aaron's gonna make the decisions who I fight. They also asked him if he's gonna fight Terrence Crawford and please, Bob, please make that fight happen. He doesn't have to go down to 140 to fight Terrence Crawford. I feel like he could just go, Terrence Crawford should just go up to 147, meet him right there and then just go for the fight. That's an awesome fight right there. Terrence Crawford versus Manny Pacquiao. Oh, please, baby. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I'm salivating for. Give me Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford. Please, please, Bob Arum. And stop blaming other people for not making fights when you don't even make any fights. Where's the damn Terrence Crawford fight? This, this is a proof right here. This is proof right here. Where's the Terrence Crawford fight? Also, one more thing to note. Uh, Zhao Shimming won his fight for the the IBO title, newly crowned flyweight champion. So China has their star boxer and he's doing his thing. So big ups to Zhao Shiming for his performance. He completely dominated his opponent and it was really uh, well deserved. So that's all we have for this week, guys. Come back next Monday if you wanna get the breakdown, everything put together, coupled the best stories of the week and i'll put them together give it to you in this format of course and then you can enjoy it it makes it very easy for you as well so you can chill relax and have at it can't wait for that andre ward versus sergey kovalev fight though november 19 must watch pay-per-view see you guys on thursday peace